The zodiac signs show what they mean. We can understand them directly without watching YouTube videos or reading books. Take Cancer, for instance. Let's dive into the picture. Let's pretend we know nothing. Let's forget about the automatic reflex. Cancer, textbook, memory, this, 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 this and that by heart without even feeling why it's like that. Let's forget. Let's pretend we know nothing and dive into the picture. It's a crab. There is an environment, the sea, and its perpetual flux and reflux. Crabs appear on the shores when the tide is low. They disappear when it's high. Tides are following the rhythm of the moon, and like the moon, they come and go. Let's be carried away by the sounds of the waves. This makes us feel in a certain way. How is it? A bit nostalgic, dreamy. There are days and there are nights. There are ups and there are downs. Sometimes we are strong, sometimes we are vulnerable, like babies. Life is an eternal return. Women make babies. Babies grow up. Boys and girls become men and women. They make love. They found families. Women have babies. Babies grow up. Repeat. Generations are waves. Waves speak of generations. Out of the water comes a crab, soon to be taken back in its embrace. When the moon, responsible for the ebb and flows, shines over the sea, we enter a world of dreams. We may wish we had a shell like the crab to protect our sensitive mood. We are swimming in the world of the soul, all pictures and fantasies, yet instinctive and sensitive. Water is fertile. Water is full of creatures that can't survive out of their environment. Baby's world is an emotional bath. In the nursery, when one starts crying, another joins in, and soon they are all crying together. It's liquid. Mothers sing nursery rhymes. They don't try to reason with babies. Soothing passes through presence, intonation, feeling. Baby calms down and falls asleep, one wave after another. Letting our mind and soul be impregnated by symbols allows us to follow threads of meaning. By contrast, Leo, a roaring lion, claiming power in broad daylight. After cancer, that's a completely different atmosphere, which will lead to completely different meanings. Symbols make us feel what they mean, even before we find words to describe what it's all about. And the world will never be perfect. Focusing on the symbol, we can conjure up the spirit of the energies. Conjuring up spirits are words that belong to magic. And yes, there is something magical in this poetic approach. Imagination is a way to develop our intuition. Imagination doesn't mean making things up. Imagination simply means we are able to form mental pictures, images. However, we shouldn't naively believe that whatever comes up in our mind is true. Reality checks are, of course, necessary. Coming back to Earth is a healthy conclusion of the process. The alternative is drowning. And beware, water is also a world of illusions. The same imaginative approach works to explore the meaning of complex configurations, of course, and this may lead to psychic perceptions at times. I'm inviting you to enter this world of imagination, to daydream, 
to enjoy the company of the symbols and the world they conjure up and see 